hello good morning my students welcome you all again on this uh, lecture classes today we will discuss about uh, uh, sound how sound is produced and what is the importance of sound is it possible to transfer sound without a uh, medium or any medium is required for uh, <coughs> transmission of sound okay sound how uh, how we can define sound sound is a form of energy by uh, uh, which is produced by vibrations as we uh, we all know so the study of sound is known as acoustics okay uh, properties of sound first point a uh, sound is a, a vibration sound is a vibration sound is a vibration sound is a form of energy we can say the vibra uh, the vibrating causes the uh, molecules are nearer to movements uh, as we know that the, uh, the molecule of the air, uh, any medium either it may be solid liquid or gases uh, they just collide to each other and after that compression and refraction will be there and so that vibrations will be there and after vibrations the sound is produced in any instrument we can see that Uh, whenever vibration is there, then only uh, sound is produced. Okay, then uh, there are two phenomena. First one, compression and refraction. Compression means when when the molecule of any medium is uh, compressed, compressed, and uh, when uh, and compressed and the movement is uh, away from away from uh, that source is known as compression. And uh, when the vibration moves the density and air pressure becomes lower than uh, the normal then uh, it is called refraction okay and uh, pressure wave longitudinal like uh, a sound wave is also uh, uh, in a, is in the category of longitudinal waves okay <clears throat> then uh, the next term is frequency frequency is, uh, is uh, related to pitch okay frequency is related to pitch and uh, uh, amplitude amplitude uh, amplitude is also uh, just proportional to the loudness uh, as much loudness will be there as much frequent uh, as much amplitude will be there and as much uh, frequency will be there uh, so the pitch is high if pitch is high then uh, the category of sound is just shrill sound and dull sound we uh, all know and then the speed of uh, uh, sound uh, if you are talking about the speed of sound then the normal speed in air at uh, room temperature will be 334 meter per second yeah, and uh, this uh, velocity is depend upon the material which uh, uh, which is used uh, in that so next uh, types of medium when we are talking about types of medium then there are three types of uh, medium solid liquid and gases in case of solid the molecules are very near to each other in case of liquid the, uh, the molecules are not uh, very close to each other in case of gases the molecules are very away from to each other and the distance between in between uh, molecules are uh, very far away <clears throat> so the uh, waves travel faster in solid so the waves or solid uh, sound travel faster in case of solid uh, lowest in uh, gases gases uh, in case of gases the speed will be very low and in case of solid the speed will be very high this is a turning fork we uh, as we know in uh, in our uh, laboratory we are using turning fork to create a sound wave okay this is uh, when we are vibrating when we are just uh, uh, striking on, uh, on the turning fork then these type of vibrations will create and you can easily see uh, the compression and refraction in that uh, uh, by the help of that turning fork next one is sound is a uh, pressure wave sound is a pressure wave or we can say that sound uh, wave can be uh, represented by this first one is uh, compression then refraction then compression then refraction then we can say that uh, sound is a combination of that compression and refraction sound will be travel with the help of compression refraction compression refraction okay c for compression uh, r for refraction come to the next guitar as we know guitar when we are just disturbing the uh, thread of that guitar or any uh, musical instrument then vibrations will be there and after that Uh, this sound wave is generated, and the, uh, you can easily see that uh, this in this uh, slide there will be compression, then refraction, then compression. Uh, compression means when the density and pressure of uh, uh, particle will be uh, more, and uh, in case of refraction, when the compression and density of that molecule is not so less. Come to next, 
speed of sound when you are talking about the speed of sound as we have discussed uh, earlier uh, sound may travel in case of solid liquid or gases but in different different steep, uh, uh, speed uh, fastest in mm -hmm. solid sound may travel fastest in case of solid and lowest in case of gases air ki baat karte hain in case of air the speed will be 340 meter per second in case of water the speed will be 14 40 meter per second and in case of steel 500 meter per second so this uh, shows that in case of solid the speed will be maximum 5000 meter per second in case of water and the speed will be 14 40 meter per second in case of air very slow very low speed that will be 340 meter per second okay supersonic there is a supersonic faster than the speed of the sound there are various uh, you know uh, fighter jet are uh, in india Uh, manufactured by india which is also known as supersonic supersonic means the fastest than the speed of the sound okay the speed uh, greater than greater than the sound is known as supersonic okay come to the next <clears throat> speed of the sound we are, when we are talking about different different medium and uh, what about the speed the air in case of air the speed will be 343 meter per second in case of helium like a gas uh, 1005 meter per second in case of hydrogen the speed will be this water sea water iron steel glasses aluminum this is all about the speed of uh, speed of sound in different different mediums okay come to next uh, this one pitch when you're talking about pitch uh, pitch is depend on uh, frequency as we know that uh, this is the frequency frequency means number of oscillations per second is known as frequency and frequency is noted in terms of hertz uh, so def uh, depends on frequency of the sound wave <clears throat> this pitch is depend on the frequency of the sound if frequency is high frequency is low according to that low pitch and high pitch and still sound and uh, dull sound we are just uh, in case of first case the frequency is high in case of second the frequency is low that's why high pitch and low pitch intensity when we are talking about intensity intensity is also known as loudness loudness the amount of energy uh, loudness means ho gaya what amount of energy we are using to generate sound and uh, this loudness is depend on amplitude of the sound wave amplifier as we are using in first case the um, uh, large amount the large amplitude so loud uh, loud sound will be there in case of uh, uh, less uh, amplitude then small amplitude to so uh, the sound will be softer okay come to next some uh, intensities when we are talking about intensities in de uh, decibel decibel in ki baat karte hain to in case of uh, uh, this jet plane jet plane uh, uh, the density of uh, that jet plane is uh, 140 db and uh, threshold uh, of pain uh, when talking about uh, 120 db and uh, indoor ro uh, uh, rock uh, rocket ki baat karte hain then the the, uh, the intensity will be 120 auto Indeed, uh, in uh, in case of auto interior, the uh, it will be seventy uh, five street traffic seventy uh, dB. Okay, conversation sixty five dB. Whisper one uh, into ten power minus ten uh, dB, and in case of rustle of uh, leaves, one into ten power minus eleven dB. This is all about intensities of uh, sound. Okay, come to next. Uh, reverberation. Reverberation uh, means uh, we are talking about reverberation means just uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, re related to echo sound. Sound waves reflecting from hard surfaces, as we know, bouncing back of sound is known as uh, echo, and that uh, uh, that is also related to that uh, uh, reverberation. Example: multiple echo uh, resulting from the different uh, from the direct sound and uh, the uh, Uh, reflect sound okay we can easily see with the help of that diagram uh, this is very easy diagram you can see in uh, first case and second case when we talking about uh, first second uh, first case then it is known as reverberation and in case of second it is known as echo sound <clears throat> echo means the just bouncing back of a single sound and in case of reverberation the multiple sound uh, which is uh, creates more echo uh, which is known as uh, reverberation so uh, this is the ba uh, basic difference between echo and reverberation come to next yes this is very important part of uh, 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 human uh, body which is known as human ear it is very sensitive organ in our body and uh, <clears throat> when you are talking about structure of that human ear so the outer part of uh, 
uh, that uh, ear is known as outer, middle, and inner part. When we talk, when we are um, categorizing uh, major portion, so outer, middle, and inner portion. When we are talking about outer portion, so this outer portion is known as pinna, and uh, this uh, pinna. Uh, the shape of that pinna is uh, so that uh, we uh, that air particle uh, maximum air particle will collect with this uh, uh, human ear and uh, when any sound is produced then what happened uh, uh, with the help of vibrations the air particle will, will vibrate and after that pinna uh, pinna collect uh, these air particles and uh, uh, through pinna, air particle will just come in uh, in our uh, uh, human ear with the help of uh, this auditory canal, or also known as uh, uh, also known as ear tube. And after that, there will be a uh, ear drum. Ear drum in uh, ear drum vibrates at the same frequency uh, when ear uh, when air particle collide to ear drum. Then what happens? It vibrates, and ear drum vibrates at the same frequency at which air particle will vibrate. So. Uh, this uh, due to vibrations of eardrum and which is uh, uh, which is connected to the uh, that hammer and hammer also vibrates and uh, after that uh, there are various uh, auditory nerves and uh, which amplify this uh, uh, this sound and uh, after that auditory uh, tubes are there which is connected to sensory nerves uh, uh, or sensitive organs and so that uh, this sound is interpret and uh, 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 understand with the help of our brain or nervous system. So this is all about uh, human ear. This is very important topic for uh, 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 board exam point of view. So we have to understand uh, the internal function of that human ear and uh, internal part of that human ear. So uh, basically, when uh, when air particle uh, collide to each other and after that. Uh, after that collision, uh, air particle will collect with the help of pin and pin, uh, after that uh, eardrum vibrate and uh, due to vibration of eardrum and uh, further uh, sound is collected with the help of these auditory nerves and amplify and after that uh, uh, this uh, sound is interpreted with the help of our nerves. Okay, come to the next human ear. When we are talking about the range of uh, hearing, so human ear can, uh, can sense that sound uh, having frequency 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So there are two categories basically uh, uh, of frequency. First, infrasonic, when you're talking about infrasonic, uh, infrasonic sound is a sound having frequency below 20 hertz, okay, uh, which we can't hear. And second one, ultrasonic sound, uh, the sound having frequency to above 20,000 hertz is known as ultrasonic sound. And, uh, and this also we cannot hear uh, this type of sound. This ultrasonic sound, when we're talking about ultrasonic sound, uh, the uses of ultrasonic sounds, uh, as we know, uh, ultrasonic sound is used in uh, uh, that uh, uh, medical line for a different, different uh, for different taking uh, images. Uh, this uh, and the last topic is sonar. Sonar uh, is a device, and the name implies that sonar, sound navigation and Ranging sound navigation and ranging. This is a device uh, by which uh, uh, that uh, uh, eco phenomena. By the help of eco phenomena, we can detect. We can detect or locate, locate, uh, locate underwater objects, and and uh, uh, by this we can identify the distance and direction and locate and uh, location of that uh, any another object. Uh, as eco sound uh, works, same phenomena will happen in this uh, sonar. In, in that sonar, uh, uh, there are, there will be two devices. First one is a, a transmitter and a receiver. With the help of transmitter, ultrasonic waves are generated, and when these ultrasonic waves uh, 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 generated, and uh, uh, when uh, is there any uh, another object? Uh, so by the help of that uh, object, that uh, ultrasonic wave. Uh, uh, just bounce back and again receive by the help of receiver so uh, so that uh, as we know the speed of that ultrasonic wave and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, with the help of formula speed equal to distance upon time you can easily calculate that uh, the distance of that uh, ship or any object so this is basically a device uh, which is used in, in an enemies and uh, and uh, uh, underwater objects uh, to locate and find the distance of that and with the help of same reflection, as we know that in case of light, there are two phenomena. There are two laws of reflection of light. Same uh, uh, will happen in case of 
south. Okay, this is all about uh, uh, solar. Thank you. Uh, I think you will like this uh, video and uh, try to understand uh, the content of these, uh, this uh, chapter is sound. And after that, uh, uh, we uh, provide a next uh, video. On that, we will discuss about uh, like uh, that uh, NCRT questions of uh, uh, NCRT solutions and questions all about uh, all these things. So I hope you will uh, enjoy this video. Okay, we will meet in uh, next. Thank you.